Her family calls it a miracle. Amber Brown, the Norfolk State University basketball player who we told you was fighting for her life, is now on a road to recovery. Only 10 on your sides, Liz Kilmer spoke to Amber's mom tonight. So, Liz, Amber is now out of a coma. Yeah, Tom, that's right. We're told Amber is still critical, but things are looking much better now than what doctors initially expected. Amber is now responsive. She can open her eyes and move her hands. Her mom, Coretta, is thanking God. A thumbs up from her hospital bed signifies improvement for Amber Brown. She was very ill, and um, God saw fit to bring her through. And so now we're at a whole nother stage. It's been a roller coaster ride like no other for Coretta Brown, who sat by her daughter's bedside since New Year's Day. That's when the NSU junior, a basketball star, was found unresponsive in her dorm room and rushed to the hospital. She had been in a, an induced a coma because um, she was having complications when they brought her in. The 20 year old had suffered a stroke, seizures, and brain swelling. To doctors, it didn't look good. But last week, a miracle. And it was kind of early in the morning. And, um, you know, she started just opening her eyes. And, and when she opened her eyes, and I was just like, thank you, God. Thank you, God. I said, girl, I missed those eyes. I missed you so much. I'm so glad you're here. While Amber can't yet speak, she's responsive. She can communicate with a blink by moving her fingers or with a fist bump from her teammates. Many have been visiting her and raising donations for her family during games. Everybody is just so supportive and and they have all just given their all in prayers and love and support and so I think we're all going to be anxious to see what Amber does in the next few days. While there's no telling exactly what the future holds, there is faith that Amber will fully recover and be back to shooting hoops. Who knows? Who know? God knows, but you know, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Her story is going to be told, and she's going to be the one to tell it. Now, Amber's mom, Coretta, tells me they aren't quite sure what caused all of this. It could be connected to Amber's diabetes. If you'd like to donate to the family, you can find a link to do so on wavy.com. Coretta says she's left behind two jobs to take care of Amber.